um, this is not good. It's even going to self-destroy the NFIP, which is what Big of Waters was intending to protect when it created this bill. Because if people don't have the money to buy the flood insurance, they can't buy it. There's no money, they can't do it. And it will eventually destroy the NFIP itself. Bigger Waters Flood Act. Well, Bigger is out of Congress, and Waters sent us this letter yesterday. So we got this last night. Um, on the eve of a multi state rally to stop the exorbitant rise in flood insurance premiums, Congressman Maxine Waters, ranking member of the House Committee on Financial Services, released the following statement. I am outraged by the increased cost of flood insurance premiums that have resulted from the Bigger Waters Act. I certainly did not intend for these types of outrageous premiums to occur for any homeowner. When I agreed to co-author this legislation, our goal was to create a bipartisan solution to repair our national flood insurance program. Neither Democrats nor Republicans envisioned it would reap the kind of harm and headache that, that may result from this law going into effect. <laughs> Plainly put, I am committed to fixing the unintended consequences of Bigger Waters flood insurance law. Since the law was enacted, we have seen a slew of confusion in FEMA mapping. In addition, many families now face costs that would make home ownership so expensive that they would be forced from their homes and find it impossible to sell. This is unacceptable. Not only does it undermine families, neighborhoods, and the pursuit of the American dream, it would be devastating to our fragile economic recovery. Increased costs of this magnitude might kick off a similar cycle of stagnant home sales and depressed home values that was one of the leading drivers of the recent recession. As a result, I am working tirelessly with my colleagues in Congress and FEMA to fix the problem. What about helping American people who are struggling just to stay on top of their bills? They're not struggling. What do they care? And, you know, this, not that, this is why I didn't get, uh, I got a fixed rate mortgage. We don't like huge surprises, thousands of dollars a year. Most homeowners can't handle that. And that's why the grandfathering is so crucial that if nothing else, we got to get the grandfathering put back in for communities. Bigger waters will, in fact, impact all 50 states, not just coastal communities. Myth, bigger waters only increases flood insurance premiums by 25% a year. Fact, bigger waters as currently adopted will increase many premiums over 4,000% over a period of years. Myth, grandfathering is the same thing as a subsidy. Fact, grandfathering is not a subsidy. Homeowners who built their homes at or above base flood elevation required by FEMA at the time of construction are paying the actuary rate from that time. And that is how it should be. Myth, prior non-actuary and discounted premiums has caused the NFIP to be $24 billion in debt. Fact, accumulating FEMA's published data for the past 35 years, NFIP premium income has exceeded NFIP claims costs by six billion dollars. Myth. Bigger waters will only impact structures that have repetitive flood loss. Fact. Because bigger waters will do away with grandfathered structures, all buildings below current or future base flood elevations will be impacted. Myth. Bigger waters is being suspended by legislative amendments so I don't have anything to worry about. Fact. Bigot Waters was passed in July 2012, and commercial and non-primary resident structures are already being impacted. It will take an act of Congress to change the law. Myth. Only people who ignored building codes or have repetitive loss will be hurt. Fact. Individuals who have followed the law, maintained insurance, and never flooded will be hurt. Myth. Only rich people will be hurt. These are vacation homes. Yeah. <laughs> Fact. Working class people, as you see here, will be hurt, and these are primary uh, residences and businesses. Myth, a phase in of higher rates makes loss of grandfathering manageable. Fact, when insurance goes from $600 to $29,000 a year, a 20% per year increase, increase is $5,700, 
and that phase-in is still unaffordable. Nearly all 50 states have had flood disasters. People outside of high-risk areas receive one-third of all uh, disaster assistance <coughs> flooding. So penalizing and going after just, you know, people that live near the water is really, it's not fair. Gene, yeah, if you come, well, call me. And I have some FEMA now signs, $10 each, if anybody wants one. The yard sign.